Okay, what happens is the students in the range K to 12 build robots and they come down here and they engage in a variety of competitions. We've got the sumo competition, if you take a look at the rings, the two robots try and push each other out of the rings. We've got the two classes of size, mini sumo and the prairie sumo is a little bit bigger. We've got cars that are driven by cables and we've got some robots that are completely autonomous where you put them on the ring and you step back and you may the best bot win. Haven't lost yet. Yeah, we're both undefeated we're so run. far. Had an so, intense uh, match over here. Well, I kind of just made it all thin here. So no matter from what angle they come at, they're always going to ramp me. So it's kind of, unless they get under us somehow, which his can, yeah, is so the only one. That's a style for mine is that I sanded these scoops down really thin, so they drive right under the other robot and uh, lift them up and push them off. Yes, you have to make it yourself. And uh, so that, it does tend to foster the uh, joy of making something. And depending on your ingenuity, your machine might be better than the other one. And uh, in a lot of competition, vehicle type competition, races and so on, the vehicle defines how well the thing will do. It's, it's a really good learning opportunity and we're really uh, thankful for this after COVID. It's good to get back to this kind of stuff. We've still got another year after this. We're planning on coming here, taking ideas from other people and then uh, going back home and seeing what we can come up with for next year.